Well, I think we're live. Are we live? I think so. I'm just going to wait for a second or so just for the notifications to go out and notify everybody that we are live because we are live here um, direct to you on Facebook and over to YouTube straight after. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get some people to speak to and talk to. So let's have a nosy. I think some people are joining now. Hope you're all doing very, very well. And I hope you all had um, an amazing uh, so far Easter weekend. I know it's Monday now. Um, we've had the Sunday. So you've all of you all, all had chocolate and ice creams and sweets and food. So it's good. Um, if you're here, give me a hello, give me a hi, let me know you're here, and uh, send me some love. Good morning, Rick. How are you doing, mate? It's nice to see people joining. Um, uh, hopefully tonight we shall have some more ghost dimension for you. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, let's have a nosy. There we, there we go. Everything seems to be live. So tonight at 8.30... We shall be broadcasting another Ghost Dimension. And somebody's logged in there, I can see, as Ghost Dimension and he's saying hello. So whoever has logged into Ghost Dimension and saying hello, hi to you. Um, that's not me talking to myself. It's somebody from the team who is talking to me. Um, hi, Lindsay Raw, Lin uh, Liz Lipset, Nicola Shaw, hello from South Wales. Uh, Sharon Flynn, hello, Nicola. Bernadette Donaldson, hello. San Summers, hello. Joanne, hello. Bill Moore, hello. And it's Jane who's commenting. So there we are. So tonight, then at 8.30, um, I want to put out another uh, Ghost Dimension episode. Now, I was thinking about it, and I was talking to Bex earlier, and I said, what would be a great episode to publish and put out there that people would like to see and you know she said to me she said well you've not done one thing and I said well what's that and she said you've not put the first episode out yet which was Bolton Sea Cadets so tonight at 8 30 I'm going to publish Bolton Sea Cadets live on here on Facebook live on YouTube and it will be the third broadcast and I think also and um, there's Bear and Nikki Stone hello and uh, there's loads of people coming in there. Hello. Um, I'm not sure, but I think Bear may be live as well later at 3 p.m. Eastern, which would be about, or 3.30 Eastern, which is about 8.30 tonight. Um, is If it's 8.30, what we'll do then, if Bear does go live, we will shift the uh, live broadcast to 9.30 tonight. 9.30. So that will go live there at 9.30. We'll just update that. And if Bear is there, she can tell us if she's going to go live. So <laughs> thanks for joining. Please like and share and let us know you're here. Um, I, hope, I hope you've all, if you've just joined, had a fantastic... Um, I am... Oh, maybe if you want to, Bear, if you want to, it'll be fantastic. <laughs> do we normally have Bear on a Monday? Because I've lost my marbles at the minute. I'm sure we do. But um, it would be fantastic, Bert, if you could. Thank you. Um, thanks for sharing, guys. Really do appreciate it. I am. I am. I don't know. Let's just, if, I don't know. Let's bring the bear in, eh? Let's have a look. If, if Bear's there, let's bring you in. I'm going to copy the link, post it into the uh, StreamYard um, comments. And if you want to come and speak to me, you can do. If anybody else wants to join the conversation and be live here, so can, let's have a, have a conversation. So last night we broadcast uh, another fantastic, um, to, talking to her, uh, another fantastic episode of Ghost Dimension at the at the mill, and it was good. It was interesting, and uh, one of my favourite Ghost Dimension flying solo uh, locations that we've been to because of the activity that happened in there and the, the things that surround it. And yes, of course, the mill was located by water, which um, you know, can empower spirits and give them energy uh, to uh, communicate and speak to us. So ghost dimension. So we are saying, hi, Bex, hope you are well, and the girls. Oh, thank you very much. And hello, Bernadette. Um, anybody missed there? Nope. 
Hi, Ghost Dimension, says Bex. So Bex has joined now as well. Bex is live as well. Thank you so much. Oh, a comment there from Angel Angelina. I, I've seen it and felt spirit. I was afraid and never slept in the dark since. Oh, you know, spirits aren't all that bad, Angelina. Um, you know, I wouldn't be too worried to, if you can, at some point, try sleeping again in the dark because, you know, sometimes spirits are just watching over you and um, communicating and wanting to be there and be protected. There's not so many negative and nasty things that people make out around. So if you've seen and felt spirit, that's a fantastic thing. And, uh, you yeah, know, keep it up. Keep it there. Keep it, keep it going. Hi, Agnes. Frankie, hello. And we speak a lot, Frankie joins us a lot on YouTube for the broadcast. So nice to see you on here as well, Frankie. And hi, Bex. Excuse me, we just had something to eat, yeah? And I just had my fish oil, my um, omega-3, and it seems to have just repeated on me then. So, um, and this lockdown here is still going crazy, as you can see. Um, scared me to death. I, I was seriously ill at the time there. Well, you know what, if you were seriously ill at the time, um, then you probably had somebody that came to visit you to look and watch over you and, you know, protect you. So don't be too frightened about that. A lot of people when they're ill and in a vulnerable uh, situation open up more to the world of, of spirit. And because of that, um, spirits will communicate more with you and you'll feel them around you more. And uh, that's probably what happened there in, in your instance, if you were seriously ill, I mean, it's, you know, you're definitely going to have spirits craving over to come and see and check on you and try and make you a little bit better. Oh, there is Bear. Let's have a quick look. And just a quick one. There's a spirit up there. I don't know. Here's Bear. It's going to add us to the stream. <coughs> Hello. Can you, Matt, can you hear Matt's going to leave you hanging. No, oh, I usually there we do. Go. There we are. There we are. Try again. Uh, do you know what happened there? I had my volume down on the computer. It's all right. So, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm waiting for the, we're supposed to have a giant wind and rainstorm here today through tomorrow, so. Really? Yeah, they're calling for 50 mile an hour winds off the lake, so it should be interesting later today. God, yeah, that should be well weird, shouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are you live then tonight, Bear? No, I'm Tuesdays. Is it Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. It's been a long weekend and a long lockdown. It has, and it. Do you know what? I totally forgot, just purely because of the uh, the the lockdown. That's all it is. I'm just going to update that banner there. Just stick that back on. There we go. Eight <laughs> thirty. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fine. Yeah, that's it. That's good then. So what? Uh, so you're live at half three Eastern time, aren't you? Which yeah, is, tomorrow, which is I think is eight thirty your time. Thirty. Yeah, and because uh, you've been doing some fantastic readings, haven't you? You know when you thank you. Yeah. I hope it helps people. It's just something to distract people while you know we're all doing the crazy stuff with this virus lockdown, which is uh, I I kind of laugh because you know how people always say when they're busy, 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 they wish they had time to stay home with the kids or stay home and do nothing. And now that they're all locked down, they're like. Ah, no, we want to go out. <laughs> what's, it, what's it like receiving uh, groceries over in the state there? Um, pretty much probably the same as it is over there. It's very, uh, now it's starting to settle down. And we've had, um, the stores are only ones that are open up where I live. Because I live um, three hours from Metro Detroit. So I'm north. And um, I'm in a small town, but they've locked down everything except food stores, food stores and pharmacies. Yeah. Um, they've got tape on the ground. Um, my butcher has like plexiglass up in front of the register and, you know, in front of the casing. And I mean, it's all being handled very well. And, you know, of course you have the, you know, nutter every now and then that, you know, as being rude or obnoxious in the stores with people, but um, not the employees. And I give them a lot of credit for being in the public um, the way they are every day for us. It's, yeah. really, it's really super. I mean, you know, the healthcare workers, of course, you know, we're still, a friend of mine works at one of the big, big hospital centers here in Metro Detroit area. 
and um, I was speaking with her the other night and they had released a thousand patients over like a two week period um, that were getting healthy and actually wound up going home to continue healing. So that was great, but they still had 800 positive virus people in the hospital patients. That's crazy. And they had 700, I believe she told me 700 employees that tested positive last week as well. So, and that wasn't even counting. I think they had like over 500 deaths down there. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a serious thing, you know, um, like you, and I've seen your posts up, you know, where people are running around like it's nothing, you know, in parks or whatever. And yeah. well, you know, it's just crazy. I went out before to pick up some supplies. And when I came back, there was maybe five or six of you sitting on park bench. And I thought, oh, that's great, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's, this is, and then I just don't understand. And you know what kills me is they're going to be the first ones crabbing about it if they get sick or someone they know gets sick. Yeah, exactly. And what people don't realize is, yeah, maybe you're feeling good, but you could also be a carrier. Yeah. And the people that you come in contact with, and then it spreads, and it can spread like in a day to over a hundred people just well, because of one stupid thing. I normally had to shop down the road and to pick up some stuff. <clears throat> For the past five, six days now, every time I've been there, there's been a queue of about fifty to sixty people outside. Is there like one by you know one one in one out? But while there's 50 or 60 people there, they're all like this, you know what I mean? So the, it's completely pointless. Absolutely. Well, it, it, I guess the thing that you can say, and I was actually shown a few years back what was going on, and it's like you can't save everybody, you yeah. know? So we have to take care of ourselves. We have to take care of our immediate families. And, you know, stay there and help our friends and, you know, be strong with everybody, like through doing stuff like this, through video chats and what have you. And uh, they're the ones that are going to remain healthy. You know, people that are saying it's a hoax, you know, okay, tell that to the people. The woman, we had a woman here in Michigan, bless her heart, she lost both her husband and her 19-year-old son in a week. Yeah. I mean, he was set to go to Michigan State University this fall. And her son was, a, or her husband was a pastor, and she wound up having to have like a semi-virtual uh, funeral. The funeral home agreed. You know, the immediate family came in, and they had masks on for in gloves and everything. It was the most bizarre thing you'd ever want. But they live streamed it, and then people from the city supported who supported the family, and then just people who supported them as a unit because of what's going on. They just got in their cars and drove in the procession. They didn't get out. They didn't, you know, participate that way. But it's like, I, you know, people just have to realize that I don't care who, how it began, where it began. It began. And the bottom line is it's a virus that doesn't care what political exactly. you know, thing that you are or if you're male or female, young or old. And, you know, that was the other thing, too, was young people and i know four of them that had it very bad and they're just recovering now thank god but they were in their 20s and they were so sick they could hardly crawl out of bed so people just have to be smart and it's it is it's a scary world we live in right now very uh, scary people are saying you know like you said just before in touch mm -hmm. it could be a conspiracy now it can be and it might be but the problem with it, even if it is a conspiracy and the virus spreading around, is that it's it's here and it's still killing people, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you have a, you can have a theory and you can say it's conspiracy. But as I always say to people, uh, sometimes you know what they're right. It could be a conspiracy and whatever, and it could be something that's been let out to people. We just don't know. But if it is, it's tough. Yeah, it. well, and that's just that, you know, I said to a good friend of mine yesterday, we were talking on the phone and um, she brought that up and I said, it really doesn't matter because yeah. people like you and I, we can't do anything about it. Nothing. I mean, what, are, what are we going to do about it? We're middle class, you know, we're, it's like whether we were targeted or not, it's like, okay, so what are you going to do? You know, I think it's like nothing except do what you're supposed to do so you don't get it. Exactly, yeah. And if, you, if we've got to just be 
sheep and follow the way to survive, then that's what we've got to do, isn't it? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'd, well, I'd rather be alive in the next few weeks. Months. Wouldn't you rather be boating out on my uh, forty degree, la- you know, forty degree outside weather lake in a boat and having a picnic with your kid? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Honest to God, that was somebody wrote that the other day, and I'm like, it's April. Are you kidding me? It's so yeah. cold out. I'm like, oh well, it was nice the other day. It got up to sixty something, and I'm like, okay, so you're gonna like go get your boat out of storage and take your kids out on a picnic on a 30 degree water lake right now? Are you serious? People are just silly. They're just yeah, they beyond are. silly. Yeah. Just beyond silly. Over here, the burning um, 5G masts because the thing that the 5G is lowering immunity and stuff. And I know that Paul um, went out of his house and measured some stuff on his meters and it was high and I've seen videos of it high, but again, it's another thing that you can't change. You can't, you've got to find I have a, Well, if, if you, if you can sew or you have a factory, you can make a lot of money right now off of everybody's fear. Yeah. You know, I just use a bandana when I go out, if I'm going out because I had the surgery last year, my yeah. immune system is compromised because my spine hasn't been healing the way it's supposed to. So I'm not going to be dumb. I mean, if I'm around people, I've got a bandana on. But am I going to go buy a twenty dollars mask? No. Uh, I mean, we we haven't got any masks here. We've only got bandanas you know, that we put over our, ourselves. The only, and a uh, sense of back to what we need to do is just order. We've ordered some from China. <laughs> you need to put them on the dogs, Sean, and the cats. Yeah, well, I put little ones on the dogs and the cats and the water. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we've ordered some from China because I said to Bex, I said, you know, when it's over, it won't be finished um, because there'll always be one idiot who still who still has a virus or 10 people or 100 people and they'll still see it spread again. So I said, you know, we will need to change the way it, we do it. It's, it's no. evolving and it's ever evolving. That was the thing that um, when I talked to my friend that works at the, and she's like really high up in the system at the hospital. She's in the CEO's office. And she said the, the issue with it is, it's ever changing. Yeah. So it doesn't act the same way with every patient. So one patient may have a fever reduction, say with acetaminophen, which is like Tylenol. Yeah. Um, and the other one might not. And one may have a good response with ibuprofen and one may not. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the antibiotics, you yeah. know. Um, well, you know, you know there's, there's a good thing to come out of this, you know. And it's uh, I'm finding some really good stuff to watch on Netflix. Oh yeah, and, and it's been fun. And I actually, one of my friends called me yesterday and saw you guys watch one of your really early episodes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you, you were on what paranormal? The par- what is it? The paranormal. Um... Uh, uh, there's some show featuring us. Yeah. Yeah, and and she saw you on there when the episode where Bex was with that doll. And I said, oh, man, I remember that. That was a great episode. So I actually went back. I said, you got to see the episode. And I showed her where it was, and she went back and watched. And it's like, that was a great episode. But that was, like, really long time ago. And it's like, gosh, how you guys have progressed. It's so fun to watch. Changed. Well, tonight we're going to be broadcasting uh, Bolton Secret. It's the first ever episode at uh, 8.30, so it's 3.30. Okay, cool. So that's coming out live, and then uh, then that then tomorrow again you'll be on then tomorrow, and we'll put something out tomorrow as well. So we shall have some fun and some. Okay. Some Sounds good. Suspension. Well, kiss the kids and uh, tell them I said hi, and uh, tell uh, oh, well. tell the babies. You know, I hope they're. Hey, have you guys opened your restaurant yet? I sent something to Bex uh, earlier, so she. You, to open a mom and dad restaurant for the kids and have them come in and they can order their dinner at the table and you can cook it. You can cook, right, Sean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, tr- I just cooked our lunch. I just yeah. Cooked our lunch. yeah, just cook it and they can order off little menus. It was really cute. It's fun. You know, there's so many, and you're such a great dad. And wow. I watch all the silly stuff you do. No, all the silly stuff you do with your girls. It's so wonderful to see you engaging and, and with the kids. and. That's stuff that they're going to remember all their lives, all their lives, you know, and you're just, yeah, they're look like they're pooped out over there, but it's, uh, yeah, I just love watching you guys with the kids. You guys are great parents and, uh, I commend you, especially in times like this. 
Yeah, exactly. We can't get out, so we've got to be even more, aren't we? So they do drive us insane, though, sometimes, Beth. You know what I mean? They do drive us insane. But, but didn't you do that to your parents when you were young? I mean... <laughs> It's like an angel. Was it like Lucifer? You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Pin okay, Pinocchio. You know this is <laughs> uh, well, All right. Well, well you we, guys take care. I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here and let you do your thing. And I love you much and love to everybody watching. And you guys take care, okay? Yes, bear. Thank you so much. Love you, babe. Bye. So that was uh, that was Bear, that, that fantastic interview with. Uh, uh, it's always good fun. If you've never um, seen Bear work, check us out tomorrow at eight thirty p.m. for Bear. She'll be live on here, um, giving readings, uh, card readings, and she's an amazing, amazing, talented woman. So make sure you check it out. I do know that uh, normally on a Wednesday, isn't it? Now we have the lovely ladies from Spark. However. Um, I've seen on her Facebook posts that she may have coronavirus. So um, I know she's cancelled uh, yesterday, where, wherever she was doing. Uh, today, I think she's cancelled as well, whatever she was doing. So I don't think tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, I don't think we'll have summer spokes because I know she has symptoms of coronavirus. So we hope she gets better very soon and hopefully um, back to back in good health. And then we can all start communicating and wish her the best and stuff. So definitely check out Bear tomorrow here live at uh, UK time eight thirty, and then which which is three thirty uh, Eastern time. But tonight, make sure you tune in at eight thirty eight thirty for the premiere of. Bolton Secrets, and we want to make sure you're all there, and we'll be live commenting as we are. And if you haven't already, please, please, please click like and follow, not just on the post, but when this broadcast finishes, like and follow on our page, on our social media. And don't forget, if you're watching this on YouTube, click subscribe, um, so, so you do get notified when we're live next, because we do love to uh, speak to people and communicate to everybody, and we love talking to everybody. So, I mean, I'm just going to say the quick hellos and stuff before I uh, go, but tune in tonight at 8.30 because you're in for a real treat. So that's um, a quick last few hellos before I go. So hello to Heather. She's saying, hey, Sean, hey, Bex. Um, Lindsay Raw says, hi, Bex. Angelina, uh, Paul Wingfield says, hi, Bex. And DIY shops are doing well in the UK with the art, absolutely. And so they're doing really, really good. So don't forget then, guys, I'm going to go now. But tune in at 8.30 tonight. And um, let's have you all there. Share it, like it, love it, ghost to mention it, subscribe it. And we will thank you so much forever. But for now, thanks for watching and see you tonight.